Here we go. Yep, yep, and we're falling. Okay, this is going to be interesting for sure. Wow, that's a long way to go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman back with another episode of Dream Car Racing 3D, and today we're going to be looking at some more viewer-made creations. I literally just got back from uh, New Hampshire, or the East Coast, a few days ago. I spent some time in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, as you saw with the vlog that I released on Friday, and I want to thank you all so much for the amazing comments I've been getting on that vlog. You guys have been so receptive to it. It was my first time on camera, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing face cam just yet. My room is not quite set up for it, so I have to work a little bit on that first and also get some webcam stuff because uh, I was just using my phone for that and that would be kind of difficult to use for face cam but uh, in the next few months I'm hoping to try to get that enabled so uh, stick around and hopefully we'll be doing some face cam on these videos soon enough but today we're gonna be looking at some of our user made creations like I said and first up is this F1 car that was actually made specific for me uh, who made it? Actually, one second here. So this says F1 car made for Scrapman by Bing Ring. So this has uh, 492 frames. That's actually a lot more than I would expect for such a small creation. But I mean, look at the what is that? The, the helmet. Look at how many frames are making up the helmet alone. Let me see if I can actually isolate just pretty much just that part. That is 117 frames alone just in this helmet area. That must have been really frustrating to deal with. Look at how many little dots are in here. That's so ridiculous. I know that the developer is working on making it easier to deal with uh, more fine tuning and closer uh, closer connection points like this. Because honestly, if one of these moved just a little bit, you'd see it would just merge uh, with one of the other ones. And that makes it really difficult to work uh, with fine details. But the developer has said that he's working on a system to get closer and closer with the detail so hopefully uh, we'll see that come into effect soon there's already been some decent updates that have happened one of them is the tank steering um, ability which rather than having to deal with steering rods if you want to instead you can actually make the the wheels work like tank steering where one side will uh, will go forward and turn you to the left and the other side will go forward and turn you to the right rather than having to deal with these very uh, difficult steering rods if you don't know what you're doing so yeah this is the F1 car made by Bing Ring so let's uh, give it some more of a thorough testing we'll do so a little bit of crashing and then of course uh, I'm gonna bring back the distortion portion of this episode because I totally forgot to do it last time. But as you can see, it uh, drives pretty fast. The suspension might be a little bit too loose there, but when, when it comes to creations in dream car racing, I've always found suspension to be very difficult to deal with. Um, but when I think of an F1 car, I usually think of a pretty rigid suspension. But it looks like it handles pretty well, and we're going to go ahead and take it over here to crash. It is a pretty low car, too. It's low off of the ground, which is good for for the F1 car. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if the repair is on. Oh, um, it looks like it might not be on because that's it's definitely not repairing itself. What happened to our helmet? <laughs> our head went underneath. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain how that happened. I'm going to have to let's let's replay that in slow motion. See if we can actually see what happened there. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and repair this, and um, I think one thing that left that I want to do is actually just I'm gonna drive up this hill, and we're gonna see what happens if it just falls off of the cliff into the wall, and then we're gonna go and do some distortion to this thing. All right, we're at the top, and we're just gonna go off the cliff, and uh, we're gonna see what happens to the. Oh, we're gonna land right on our helmet. That's probably not gonna be too good for us either. Okay, actually, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, now our helmet doesn't go through the bottom. We land on our head, and our helmet seems to be. Well, actually, it, it looks a little not so fine here. Let me get a closer view here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, looks like our face kind of caved in just a little bit. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave this right there, and uh, we're just gonna get out of here. All right, now let's do have a little bit of fun with this and uh, do some of the distortion. So we're gonna start with a width distortion. Oh, that's gonna include the helmet too. This is gonna look ridiculous. All right, we'll start with this side, and we'll just zoom out a little bit so we can just drag this out like that. You think that's good enough? How about that? Now the tough thing with the distortion portion is suspension. Sometimes suspension does not react too well once everything is stretched out like this. But it looks like, oh, it actually works. Look at this thing. <laughs> this doesn't really look like an F1 car anymore. What happened to my helmet? You can't even see. Isn't that supposed to be my helmet right there? I don't know what happened to it. 
All right, let me respawn, see what happens. Okay, it's there. See, here's our face. Our eyes should be going right. I don't know what happened to it there. All right, so it's 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 supporting itself right now, but it looks like one little bump will make it fall back down. I don't know what happened there. All right, we're gonna take it into one of these pillars. We should be able to hit it considering how wide we are right now. Slow motion or not slow motion? Let's do a little bit of slow motion since we didn't actually do it last time. Okay, we're coming up on the pillar. Curious what's gonna happen to our face here. All right, and let's slow it down just a little bit. All right, here it comes. Uh, watch the helmet. What? Wait, what? Okay. I guess we can just go through the pillar. That works too. <laughs> um, I really don't know why nothing seemed to register with the hit there. What is going on? I think we broke. I think. Up, oh, our helmet's back underneath our vehicle again. All right, well, that was all good and fun, but what happens if we try to make an F1 car tall? Actually, no, let's do a limo, limo F1 first, and then we'll try tall. I don't know how tall is going to work. I really, I, I don't know what I'm, where the dividing point's going to be, especially with this section here. I guess we can do it between here and here, and then drag it up. All right, but we're going to start with the long, because this will probably look kind of interesting. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and spawn this one. And yeah. <laughs> How long would your feet have to be to reach the pedals on this thing? That looks kind of funny. All right, I think I'm. A, I think I like the long one a little bit better. This thing. This thing looks pretty funny. We should have. We should have races like these. Limo F1 races. I would. I would pay to see a limo F1 race. The crashes though. There would probably be so many crashes. All right. Let's see if this one thing is a little bit more solid than the last one. If we hit a pillar here. The, oh wait. What? Right, that looks like a big mess that just happened right there, but wait, what happened to our help? Oh. Why does that keep happening? This is not good for safety if our head goes underneath the car every single time you crash. I think you need to do some, some safety upgrades to this thing here. Alright, one last thing to do to this, and that is... The vertical distortion. Alright, this one is going to be a little bit harder to measure out, though. Alright, here we go, we're back to our normal, so if we go right here... We should just be able to drag all of this stuff straight up. There we go. All right, that actually worked better than I thought it was going to. So let's go ahead and race. See how this works. It's a lot bouncier. <laughs> Look at his head. He's like... Dun, 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 dun. Um, all right, I don't know how this is going to go. Whoa. All right, we're a little bit top heavy. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to turn around here. All right, we're just going to take it slow. All right, we're gonna go ahead and gun it right now, see if we can keep flat. Look at those suspensions, though. That's some, that's some heavy-duty suspension in here. I'm thinking that if I stop really quick right now, we can probably do a front flip. Ready? Here we go. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. If we go backwards really fast, maybe. One of the changes that was actually made to the game is they made the backwards, um, the backwards gas just as strong as the frontwards gas. Which is, which is good, because now we can do this! Ha ha! Alright, that didn't work quite. What happened to our helmet again? <laughs> this helmet just keeps jumping out of our vehicle. Oh my god, what is going on with this thing? What is that? Why is that a th Alright, well, this is the F1 car. Let me know what you guys think of the F1 car down in the comments below. Let's see what we're gonna take a look at next. Okay, the next one is gonna be called Course Stabilizing Suspension by Creative... Oh, by creative, yeah. <laughs> course stabilizing suspension by creative. I don't know what course stabilizing means. Let's take a look at the car first. All right, it's very, it's very vibrant and colorful. I like the colors. Um, let's see here. So there must be something unique with the suspension. I'm curious to see how that's gonna work. Oh, here we go. This is what, the, wow, that's really bright. I like the way it looks. Let's see how many frames, only 128 frames. Holy crap. Um, that's not a lot of frames. All right, so I think we have to go to an off-road course for this one. So let's go ahead and head to the mountain. And we're gonna see, oh, 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 I, wait, can we recover? All right, we're, we're, we recovered kind of. Thanks to the, the more strength and the backwards gas, we, we can, we're not falling down the mountain, but let's see if we can keep our control. This is just where I spawned. I don't know why I'm spawning here, but let's see if we can keep our control going down here 
It goes almost vertical, so my hopes are not high. But hey, it's working. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, wow, this is this is the most control I've had on the side of this mountain, like, ever. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. Look at that, we just, we just spawned right on the side of that mountain and we're doing okay. All right, let's see how the suspension is working. This looks pretty cool. The back is very different from the front, it looks like. All right, do we have headlights? Nope, no headlights, okay. All right, so, um... I guess now let's try to go back up over there on this road over here. This is the infamous road that we always try to get up and we've never found a vehicle yet that has been able to actually get up this uh, this last section over here. I'll show you. In case, this is, in case you're a first time viewer of Dream Car Racing today, uh, I'm going to show you the road that it, I don't think is possible to conquer in this game. Alright, so we get up here. Um, we have this first little hill here, and then we have that major uh, incline right there. So this first one is usually most cars can get over it, and this is actually going really fast right now uh, compared to what I usually am seeing on this road here. Uh oh, uh oh, we lost, we fishtailed a little bit. We may have lost our momentum, and I think this is officially the farthest any car has gone that I've used on this road here. We're actually like in like the top segment, but it looks like it's not gonna make it. But look how far we got. This is probably the the best the best hill climber I've had so far, and I actually want to give it one more chance because I fishtailed a little bit there, and I think I could have done better. All right, first section's looking perfect. Now we have some speed. Let's keep the speed and see if we can get up this section here. Oh, we're losing it fast. We're losing speed fast. Oh my god, look how close we are. Look at how close we are. Oh! <laughs> I have to give a ton of credit to this car, because I've never even been able to get close to that hill in all of my past attempts. So, uh, creative, kudos to you for doing that. So now I want to do one more test with this thing. I'm actually going to go to the top of this mountain, and then- wait, why is this- oh, okay. I'm going to go to the top of the mountain and then see how- how, how far we can get down the mountain without flipping out and losing control. Because usually- um, yeah, this, I don't know why I think I can do these things, like I just set these goals, like let's try to do this, and then I realize very quickly that I've just set myself a relatively impossible goal, but let's see if we can do this, let's keep control, alright, I, I have my reverse on as strong as I can, and this is, this is as slow as I can go right now, stay, stay on your feet, I mean your wheels, oh, I think we're losing it, wait, wait, oh no, it's forward, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, uh, yeah, we lost it, we lost it. It did pretty good though. It has done way better than anything I've used before. Oh wow, this is this is very elegant and pretty. For now. Uh hey, that wasn't too bad. Oh, this thing's pretty strong. I mean the wheels aren't gonna work anymore, but it held its it held its weight pretty well there. I don't know if repair mode is on or not though. Okay, so I think we're gonna do a little bit more of a distort oh, we're we're breakdancing. We're gonna do a little bit more of the distortion portion with this one, and then we're gonna go to our final, our final build, which is uh, one of the craziest ones I've seen, and I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys, how you guys like that one. Okay, I just saw that self-repair is in fact off, so that was all the car actually doing its own thing there. It wasn't being repaired at all going down the cliff. But, so, the distortion portion, let's start off with, uh, what would be good for this one? I wanna- the limo is always one of my favorites, so let's go ahead and stretch this thing out forward... ...like... ...this. Is that long enough? I think that might be long enough. Alright, race. There we go. Now this should handle any mountain. Actually, let's do the same thing that we did before. Let's go ahead and spawn up here and take it off the cliff and see if its length actually gives it some more stability. I don't know why I think that would, but we just gotta get over this corner, which, eh, no problem. No problem where you can just go through walls. All right, I'm trying to stay straight here. And it's working out, it's actually working out a little bit so far. This is where we lost it before. Ooh, there's like a little bit of a road down here. Let's see if we can turn down the road. I'm probably making a huge mistake here. Oh, we're doing it. We're keeping our trajectory. Oh, oh, and we lost it. Yep, we lost it. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do now. We're lost. We're lost on a journey, tumbling down a mountain. Kind of 
looks like a green hot dog. All right, I think I wanna do the vertical distortion this time. So let's, uh, I guess we'll choose right here, looks okay. And then we'll just move this stuff all the way up like that. And I think this is gonna do weird things, because I just noticed that the back suspension didn't get stretched, but the front suspension definitely did. Um, but let's go ahead and spawn it anyway and see what happens, because that's, that's what we're all about. Oh. Alright, doing good so far. Uh, let's put ourselves on the runway where it's flat. There we go, <laughs> look at this thing. Look at the back suspension actually, whoa, what is happening with our steering? This is insane. Oh, we've accidentally stretched the steering rods, so they are not working as intended. But let's go ahead and just uh, give it the gas here, which we are doing right now, and it, oh. Hey, come on, just get off of the thing. There we go, there we go. Oh, oh. All right, I feel like, I feel like the frames of this thing are just a little bit too, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one bounced us out really far. I feel like the frames of this thing are a little bit too strong and I, I kind of want to weaken them as we fall off the mountain. Oh man. But when they're that strong, it just, it picks up so fast. Alrighty then. Well, we got one more creation to show you guys. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so this is one that I've actually been saving for a little while. This is called The Crawler Crane by Edvin. And I saw, I haven't used it yet, but I've seen it and it looks absolutely ridiculous. So I'm, let me just spawn this thing right now. And here you go. This is supposedly an actual working crane. And I, I gotta figure out what the controls are, but I know that you can move this top thing and you can move the claw and stuff. So let me see if I can figure out what the controls are for a second. All right, let's see. So K and J for that. E and Q, K, J, E and Q. I don't know if there's any other controls, but we'll find out. Uh, so there are 510 frames. You know what's crazy? The F1 car almost had as many frames as this thing. <laughs> Only 74 panels. Yeah, there's not really that many panels. It's just in this section right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and spawn this thing in and see what happens. All right, here we are on top of the mountain. So if we go forward, there we go. Oh, and he actually has normal steering. I think he might have made this thing before the tank steering was implemented. So you can see the back two wheels steer and then the front two wheels steer. And it makes a really weird looking thing. I don't know if, if uh, the repair mode is on. It looks like it might be. All right, so let's see, was it J and K? Uh, yeah, see, now you can see there's the claw, so the claw actually does that. And I think E and Q. Alright, so the, we can lower it, and then we can raise it like that. Whoa! This thing is just crazy! Now, that is a really good use of the steering rod keybinds. So I am very impressed with this thing, and I'm actually really surprised that this thing can even support its own weight. Um, so let me make sure that the repair mode is off so that we can take this thing off the mountain and then watch it crumble. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and click this button. Now the question is, will it support its own weight? Alright, it's still working. It's still supporting its own weight. What happens if I do this? Alright, not bad. So we're gonna go ahead and take this thing off. I don't really think there's gonna be much worth uh, with the distortion portion for this one because it's such like an irregular shape. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do the big finale here and take it off the edge of this cliff and see what happens. I actually want to get kind of far out from this one. Here we go. Yep, yep, and we're falling. Okay, this is going to be interesting for sure. Wow, that's a long way to go. I don't think I've actually driven off the very end of that in a while, but this thing... Uh, I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit, because I actually want to see what happens to all these frames here in ultra super slow-mo. Alright, we're at 20 times slow motion here. This thing is just... crazy. Oh, there it goes! Yeah, I have turned the self-repair off, so uh, we should not be getting any repairing going on here, but yep. I think it's probably out of service now. Here, let's go back into our driving mode at full oh, full speed. There we go. And we're gonna try to see if we can recover from this. Now the question is, do these things still work? Alright, Q? Yep, there we go, and E. The, the mechanism kind of still works there, but um, I don't think we're gonna be picking anything up with this screen anytime soon. Where's the... 
Where's the claw? There it is. Does that still work? Uh, where's J and K? J, um, it's not working that well, but it's doing something. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a thumbs up if you did, and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part was, uh, or what, what, your, what your favorite vehicle was. We had the crane, we had the uh, off-road thing that was really, really cool, and we also had the, uh, what was it, the F1 car. Yep, so le leave a comment letting me know which vehicle was your favorite, and what you thought of the video, and this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time.